Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology. We are here with another interesting bombastic transit of 2024. Currently, as you know, Jupiter is in Bharani Nakshatra, but on 16th, 17th of April 2024, Till 13th of June 2024, Jupiter will enter Kritika Nakshatra and Kritika Nakshatra as you know is the Nakshatra that is the Nakshatra that represents fire, purification, austerities and brightness, illumination and success. Alright, Kritika is a very powerful Nakshatra because the moon gets exalted in Kritika Nakshatra, okay, in the sign of Taurus. So, as you know, Kritika Nakshatra starts in Aries. The first pada is in Aries, and then the second, third, fourth pada goes up to Taurus. So, therefore, uh, you will see there are four houses which will be impacted in your chart and as I always say this transit like every other transit should be seen from your ascendant, your lagna, your rising sign. Alright, so if you do not know what is your ascendant, lagna or rising sign, these three are the same things. Uh, you can go to www.astrosage.com there you will surely find your ascendant lagna rising sign do not see it from your moon sign only see it from your ascendant lagna or rising sign all right so the four houses that will be impacted will be seen from your ascendant which is for example the, the two houses that jupiter lords in your chart lordships are like rulerships it shows the two houses uh, that jupiter has responsibility to fulfill and Aries and Taurus will be the other two houses that will be impacted because Jupiter will transit these two signs and on 1st of May 2024 as you know Jupiter will enter the Taurus so it will enter the second Pada of Kritika Nakshatra and from 17th April to uh, 1st of May it will be in the first Pada alright and as usual God is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me you can always go to my website you will find that down in the description section www.exoticastrology.in so now let's go into every ascendant all right so we come to Aries Lagna, Aries Rising, Aries Ascendant, very 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 important for Aries because this transit is happening initially in your first house and then it will go to your second house and for you as you know very well Jupiter is lording the ninth house and he also lords the twelfth house. So the four houses that will be impacted are the first, second, ninth and the twelfth. Okay. So now what is the first house the first house is your appearance it is your self it is your personality it shows what you think of yourself okay it shows how you perceive everything in life and then the second house is the house of wealth values uh, your value systems your net worth also your family your relatives your spouse your children everybody or it can also show people who are not your family but who feels like family so therefore now what is happening is the ninth lord which shows luck uh, higher education masters phd postdoc uh, spiritual learning it shows association of gurus and the 12th house which shows again spirituality expenditure is coming uh, to the first house initially and then it will go to the second house so what can this mean now ninth law transiting the first house exceptionally great placement because uh, this is a placement which will uh, give you boost in your self-confidence then it will give you extraordinary personal growth and there will be uh, some potential increase in the income or uh, acquisition of valuable assets okay which means <coughs> Now, if you are feeling lately that uh, you lack confidence and uh, you are not growing as an individual, you are just go going through life but you are not growing, then this is the best time to grow yourself internally and also externally. So externally your net worth could increase, your circle could increase. Mm. You could become more spiritual because the 12th Lord is entering your ascendant. and because the ninth lord of luck is entering your second house so it can show that 
your circle is increasing so you may get married or there could be uh, things like you know your uh, social circle could have new people you know new colleagues you know second house also shows job so there could be some new job opportunities which could come and because the 12th lord is transiting second so there could be some business expenses uh, for good reasons you know like you want to start your youtube channel and uh, you are uh, buying a mic or a camera and a laptop for that you know some something similar could happen uh, you want to start some hotel business why do i say hotel because jupiter venus represents food and the hotel industry so you know, it could be that you might want to start some cloud kitchen okay and by the way if you are liking this image that you are seeing here uh, then please give it a thumbs up all right the video now ninth lot transiting the lagna uh, incredible time for spiritual learning uh, for uh, becoming more spiritual inside as a person and also for gaining some higher education so higher knowledge higher education so if you have plans for masters or phd or even bachelors uh, perfect time so go learn more about different cultures different people and about different uh, Uh, systems okay not just uh, within your company it could be you know you learn some new technology so something new you are upgrading yourself basically then as i said there could be marriage or childbirth and other developments in your professional uh, in your personal uh, and also professional relationships so you might uh, expand your family literally or you some other person might become like your family member and professionally also you might go to networking events and or you might uh, want to expand your circle and this is also a good period uh, to invest in yourself because uh, the 12th lord is the lord of expenditure and is coming to your first house and second house so this means uh, you might want to have some expenditure for your body you know so, so maybe you could hire some gym trainer or you know buy some health products or something like that okay so overall a good time for you to boost your self confidence learn and upgrade more and increase your net worth and your circles and your personal life okay all the best and for consultations you can see my website down below thank you aries and wish you all the best make the best use of this transit for learning and self upgradation all right now let's go to taurus so taurus lagna as i've been saying you have been winning all the time <laughs> for uh, other transits of 2024 if you would have seen my other videos you would have uh, understood what i'm saying and uh, here also you win almost okay you 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 don't win 100% this time <laughs> but you win at least 50 to 70 percent or i would say 75 percent now why do i say this because uh, jupiter for you is the lord of the eighth house and the 11th house and he's transiting initially uh, into your 12th house of <coughs> uh, uh, sorry first he will be uh, transiting into your 12th house uh, then he will enter your first house okay so uh, what is this transit basically very 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 interesting because uh, if you see this transit is going to make you very spiritual and also it will give you gains materially now this is very uh, this is very weird how can two things happen simultaneously well certainly it can okay so uh, which means uh, you can have opportunities for spiritual retreats or uh, solitude that can bring you know deep insights uh, but along with that it can bring in uh, development in your personal life so now it's like saying the lord of the 11th house will gradually transit your first house so uh, this is a phenomenal time for you uh, to understand that uh gains will come to your life okay gains will come automatically so the 11th lord transiting the lagna it means gains are just flying to you okay and because of this uh, you might become uh, conscious of your physical appearance uh, you might want to you know uh, do more about your physical appearance uh, now initially you have to understand till jupiter is in aries till 1st of may uh, this transit is in your 12th house okay so 
uh, that is where kind of it, it could be a tough time uh, but it, it's just a matter of like 15 days you know it, it, it's nothing basically <clears throat> so for those 15 days uh, from 17 to 1st of may you may feel a bit confused you know or you may see you are not going growing financially uh, you are not getting gains but as soon as 1st of may comes when jupiter enters your first house then you will realize that you will see a lot of uh, possible financial gains you know you could see through inheritance because guru is your eighth lord uh, or through other investments so if it has happened for you that uh, there are many things which is there in the pipeline waiting for you but uh, you are not able to uh, go through them then uh, now is the good time for you and because initially this transit is in your 12th house so uh, it could happen that uh, you are having some good amount of expenditure as the 8th lord is going to the 12th so if you have a business Taurus Lagna if you are a business uh, man or a business lady then this is a perfect time for you to have some necessary business expenditure and uh, expansion and needless do I say uh, the 11th lord transiting the first house phenomenal time for expanding your network circles and support from your friends also the 11th house shows networks and friends okay now at the same time uh, jupiter is also your eighth lord okay so if the eighth lord is transiting your lagna then uh, it means this is a time for introspection and personal transformation along with the a uh, lagna it is also transiting the 12th so that can give you some expenditure but it is also good time for uh, trying to understand who you are as a person and uh, what what should you be doing in life okay so it so now is the time taurus lagna you should try to think what is your purpose in life you know is it just to earn money to have a family or do you feel you deserve much more okay so if you feel that uh, there are a lot of things that you want to do but you are not able to uh, bring everything together then this is a perfect time for you to uh, get things done all right and by the way if you are liking the photo here then please make sure to hit the thumbs up and for personalized consultations you can go to my website down here okay and finally Taurus Lagna at the end this is a time to discover yourself and be more wealthy okay wealthy not just in terms of money but also in terms of relationships okay so great time Taurus you win again Congratulations and wish you all the best. Take care. All right, Gemini Lagna. Do you like this photo that's here? If you like the photo, then hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new. So now for you, this transit initially is in your 11th house and then it goes to your 12th house. Now, uh, Jupiter for you lords the 7th house and uh, also your 10th house okay so what is the 11th house 11th house is uh, the most powerful house in the entire zodiac belt it shows uh, name fame power position authority and it also shows gains you know in any kind of uh, gains basically material spiritual intellectual um, it can also show gains related to your inner uh, inner universe okay and the 12th house is the house of isolation and spirituality as you know and the 7th house is the house of doing things together so it could be marriage partnerships or uh, it could be anything related to like collaborations mergers acquisitions also and the 10th house as you know is the prime house of career and power position authority okay so now the 10th lord is transiting your 11th house initially and then going to your 12th house this means there is a high possibility that your income might increase from different sources so you might realize long-term goals you know so for example you might meet somebody initially uh, who might help you to uh, start up uh, start your own business or you know who might help you to get a new job or who might uh, help you to uh, expand your circle okay so for you the 10th lord is transiting the 11th house so this is a phenomenal time for you to expand your network circles this is the best time in your profession okay and uh, because the 7th lord is transiting the 12th house 
So this could be a great time for you to deepen your romantic love relationships and also business partnerships. Okay. And uh, point number three, as I've written, massive growth opportunities through your career advancement. So for you now, you have to understand that whatever you do, because the seventh and eleventh houses are associated, you always have to do it together with someone. Okay. Now I'm not saying that you go and become dependent on somebody, but what I'm trying to tell you here is that if you are working alone, if you are a self-employed person, then try to hire somebody, you know, one or two people, if you have the financial capacity, then uh, you should uh, try to delegate some of your tasks and also try to network with people who are doing something similar uh, to you. Okay. Then you will have massive gains. There is huge potential for collaboration. So if you are a YouTuber, you know, try to invite some other YouTuber into your channel and do some partnerships. Okay. And also because uh, the 10th Lord is transiting in your uh, 12th house. Therefore, it could be a great time for giving some charity or, you know, doing some spiritual practices. Okay. Now, uh, because along with the 10th uh, Jupiter also lords your 7th house transiting the 11th so there could be uh, a situation where you might get married okay depending on if your Mahadasha and Antardasha agrees there could be marriage and also uh, if your uh, Dashas are indicating childbirth then childbirth can also happen okay and along with that because the 12th house is associated so there could be some expenditure that is required for some good reasons you know like business expenses or uh, especially because of the seventh lord so some expenditure related to your spouse you know marriage or maybe you are getting married so you have an expensive wedding so something like that okay so overall uh, it's a great time for you to increase your income do things together network with other people uh, deepen your existing relationships try to try to find human connections and whenever required whenever you feel that you are lost and you are confused remember the 12th house spirituality and seclusion isolation so if you feel that you are not making it in life in a big way then maybe you can try to uh, go into a bit of seclusion you know try to do more meditation and spiritual practices and by that you will realize what is that you, which you actually want in life all right all the best gemini uh, great time for you to socialize and make human connections and expand in your profession through business and job all right all the best take care all right so now we go to cancer so cancer lagna <laughs> you are the biggest winner of this transit needless to say this is what i said in the jupiter's transit to taurus video but here you win more actually okay so by the way if you're liking this photo uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and for personalized consultations you can visit my website it's down there written all right so for you cancer this transit is in the 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 two most powerful houses of your zodiac belt okay so your 10th house and your 11th house the most phenomenally powerful of all houses that ever exists or that can ever exist okay so now what are these houses basically so these two houses are the houses of name fame power position authority uh, gain social circles okay so jupiter for you is the lord of another artha house so 10th house is a artha house which shows you know wealth and 6th house is also another artha house okay and 11th house is the gain for any house so it is also going to behave like a artha house and then uh, ninth house of luck is also with you okay because guru is already your ninth lord so he's a phenomenal planet for you uh, and the sixth house shows health and it shows daily work discipline and all this okay so therefore uh, if you feel that you are not having recognition and achievements in your life then this is the perfect time for you to go and make it big in the world okay now is the time where you have to prove yourself now is the time where it is your 
uh, it's your turn to get recognition and achievements in your profession okay so uh, you can do this by uh, getting some promotions or getting a new job or by starting your own business you know your own social media maybe you start your own youtube channel or instagram page or you know your linkedin profile and uh, there will be increased social activity uh, but cancer amidst of all the good things you have to understand for you jupiter is the sixth lord the sixth house is a dusthana house okay which means it's a difficult house now what does this mean it means that whatever you get as a part of your destiny will come but through hard work okay so for you uh, you cannot achieve anything cancer whenever you see a jupiter transit video jupiter will always lord your sixth house okay that will not change the houses where it transits will change so whenever you are seeing a transit video of jupiter for your ascendant cancer lagna understand whatever is written for you whatever is said whatever can happen will come only through consistency okay so Now, if you feel you lack consistency in life, then uh, you have to be disciplined. You have to make proper schedule, and you have to you have to kind of uh, understand that you have to plan properly. Okay. So, if you have problems with consistency, uh, don't try to do everything. Uh, do something for every day. Uh, try to do it for three days. Okay. This is what I have seen works brilliantly. So. try to do it regularly for 3 days then try to do it for another 7 days okay and once you do 7 then try to do it for another 15 days it will be phenomenal and then you will achieve great success and because the 11th house is associated you will get support from social circles groups and friends and the 9th lord transiting 11th you can have massive spiritual gains you can go to a spiritual community you can go to a satsang program uh and you can also get good advice on legal matters if required the sixth lord transiting 10th or 11th and during this period any cancer lagna if you are uh, having any problems regarding uh, your uh, legal cases or court matters then if your dasha agrees maybe you can be victorious during this time okay and one thing is non negotiable for cancer is that you have to focus on your health and daily routines okay so anything that helps you advance on a daily level that is where you have to focus on so cancer overall you win focus on your profession network circles and your health and consistency and the rest will be taken care of by destiny everything is provided you don't have to worry but at the end you will get success depending on your mahadasha and antardasha okay take care cancer all the best All right, Leo Lagna, are you liking this photo that's here? Wow, I think Leo, this is the best photo in the presentation. <laughs> the sun is uh, the sun, the Leo, the lion is staring at Jupiter. <laughs> All right. So if you're liking this photo then don't forget to hit the thumbs up and for personalized consultations my website is there in the photo down there. All right so for you this transit is in the 9th house a phenomenal 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 jupiter transiting in the 9th beyond beyond beautiful this is and 10th okay so what is the 9th house 9th house is the house of uh, luck higher education morality spirituality legality is you know law blessings fortune luck anything you say anything good that is there in the world is there in the 9th house okay and what is the 10th house do i need to tell you leo's what is the 10th house i am sure you knew know about it already because 10th house is the house of name fame power position and authority and 10th house is also the house where your lagna lord which is the sun your ascendant lord your lagnesh surya gets dik bali directional strength okay so for leo any planet transiting the uh 10th house is a, a phenomenal um, time because you, know, you will realize that you will have more authority okay now but for you leo jupiter is a very interesting planet he is the lord of the 5th house and he is also the lord of the 8th house okay so 
the planet that is ruling your fifth house uh, is Jupiter and what does the fifth house show it shows <coughs> your creativity it shows your desires you know it shows why you get up in the morning and it shows your uh, inner uh, desires of the soul basically fifth house represents the soul and the eighth house shows transformation uh, doing things in detail you know going into depth of things and uh, it also shows inheritance okay so that means for you the fifth lord is transiting the ninth house and also the tenth house so very 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 good time for you uh, you can be extremely lucky uh, in your academic pursuits and in your opportunities for travel you know fifth law transiting ninth you are traveling to places that you enjoy uh, you are uh, you are getting some new position uh, in your life you know so and you get more visibility okay so maybe you have a youtube channel and maybe that's going viral okay because uh, the 10th house when activated uh, tells you things that you do which people actually like okay so people like to pay you for the services so if you are in the social media space then this is the best time for you to make a mark in the in your profession and in your uh, unit and in your community okay and because uh, jupiter lords your fifth house so creative projects will be favored uh, and especially if you have some projects which involves children you know you are doing something like <clears throat> non-profit or something like that then uh, you will be favored okay fifth house shows things which you do as charity because it is 12th from the sixth house of wealth okay and also uh, there could be positive transformations because eighth house shows transformations in your personal life and also in relationships okay so therefore the eighth house can rule your marriage marital life your uh, in-laws and your uh, love life also okay so fifth lord eighth lord transiting the ninth you know maybe it's a good time uh, for you to find somebody that you love you know so a relationship could come by if your dashas are permitting that and also uh, it's the best time for you to explore some spiritual path you know some philosophical paths okay so essentially uh, for leo it's a good time for self upgradation like luck higher education and also to make it big in your profession but also not forgetting who you are as a person because of the fifth house okay and be ready to experience transformation because the eighth house is involved okay so for you it's a phenomenal time to do things which you love so that is the conclusion so do things that you love in a bigger scale okay with freedom and free will and happiness okay wish you all the best leo i am sure you will do great during this transit congratulations all right now we go to virgo ascendant virgo lagna do you like this photo here if yes don't forget to hit the thumbs up and for consultations you can visit my website mentioned here now for virgo this is a very 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 incredible transit and I think the photo depicts this transit quite beautifully. If you see, where is this transit happening? It's happening in the 8th house. What is 8th house? 8th house is transformation, right? And what is ninth house? Ninth house is the house of uh, inner growth, basically. Inner and uh, internal and external, of course. It shows higher education. Uh, it shows, you know, transformation. <coughs> positive transformation okay so eighth house is uh, negative transformation ninth house is positive transformation and uh, if you see in the picture it's depicted you know some uh, old book like some old scripture is depicted you know you are learning something you are going deep into research you know jupiter is all over in the pick uh, it's all over around for you which means now is the time that you might feel that you need jupiter which shows uh, ancient scriptures you know like vedic scriptures like the bhagavad gita uh, the quran the bible Srimad bhagavatam <coughs> the torah the guru granth sahib dharmapada and all these are uh, divine books okay so if you feel you are lost in life which could come because of the eighth house but if you feel that 
then don't worry you need to look to god okay and you cannot talk to god personally i mean there are some people who can do if they are very elevated but most of us cannot do right but we can surely or try to hear god through what he has spoken through the scriptures okay so pick up any uh, scripture and try to read uh, depending on whichever tradition inspires you or whichever tradition you identify yourself with okay so try to read the bhagavad gita if you want and you will get insights about life and spirituality okay because uh, jupiter is your fourth lord and fourth house can show like uh, education of any kind okay it can show your home your house and all this also but primarily it shows education at an internal level at an external level it can show your uh, real estate empire that you have you know you may you may own one house two houses or three houses now jupiter also lords your seventh house which is the house of partnerships so uh, therefore uh, because the seventh lord is transiting the ninth through the eighth house so there could be financial gains through uh, partnerships or inheritances and there could be strengthening of personal and professional relationships okay so for you now <coughs> Uh, it's very important so for virgo i'll tell you something which is not written here the most important thing for you is to have a proper schedule why do i say this because if the eighth house is involved then it can make you feel overwhelmed sometimes okay so for you virgo you may feel that there is a lot on your plate uh, yet when you try to do things you may feel oh there's nothing for me to do okay which means uh, things are appearing a bit more exaggerated for you okay so therefore uh, Virgo Lagna you need to understand that uh, if you feel that you have too much on your plate then write it down please make notes okay don't take it lightly don't exaggerate it okay and uh, there could be opportunities or growth uh, opportunities for growth uh, through some crisis okay because the eighth house shows some crisis you know there could be some uh, problem in your you know, job or in your personal life uh, through which you may get gain a lot of things okay like you may be hearing uh, famous stories of uh, very popular entrepreneurs you know where they were fired from a job and then they started their own business and it worked okay <coughs> and uh, as i said before this is the best time for you to do research study deeply and do spiritual and scriptural exploration and uh, because the ninth house is associated there could also be some pro possible relocation or uh, beneficial changes in the home environment okay the fourth lord is in ninth so it's a great time to do something spiritual in your home all right so virgo wish you all the best uh, do research read the scriptures and try to connect to god okay all the best all right now we come to libra lagna tula lagna are you liking this image that's here uh, please let me know in the comments and if you like it then hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and for personalized consultations you can go to my website mentioned here all right libra lagna where is this transit occurring this transit is occurring in your seventh house which is the house of partnerships and uh, it's occurring in your eighth house which is the house of transformation inheritance okay now, there are a thousand other things which these two houses represent but these are the primary indications now for you jupiter is the lord of the third house which shows communication you know short travels and uh, it is also the sixth lord which is the lord of your health your physique your daily habits you know daily work as it's written uh, but you have to understand that uh, this could be a great time for you to harmonize your uh, romantic relationships you know or your marriage and along with that your business partnerships also okay so it could be that you are going out for traveling with your spouse you know to some place nearby place you know or uh, you have a business trip because the third lord is coming to your seventh and the eighth so there could be some travel which is coming okay and along with this uh, for you now libra it's very important that you understand that there could be opportunities for financial growth 
but through some joint venture through some joint resources okay so you might be buying some property uh, in your and your spouse's name and that could be beneficial for you in the long run and uh, because the eighth house is involved and the sixth house is also involved so there could be transformations mostly positive uh, in your personal life okay so therefore for you it's very important that you or uh, do everything deeply now okay so libra lagna if you feel that your life has become a bit superficial then now is the time that you go deep okay so try to understand things in detail try to do things more uh, seriously and with more dedication and sincerity okay so for you sincerity is the word or uh, try not to hover around and be superficial and if you are genuine you are authentic then you will have massive transformations okay you will make very good connections with people but if you are superficial then you will get a bad reputation okay now as i said there could be travels and uh, this could be a good period for having meaningful conversations and short travels okay now because two dusthana houses are involved like the 6th and the 8th so you could feel that you don't want to travel but you might need to travel for some seclusion or for for some solitude okay so if you feel that uh, life is a bit too much on you <laughs> then uh, don't worry uh, try to do some spiritual practices try to do some sadhana and most importantly you should try to uh, improve your health and overcome previous challenges because sometimes what can happen is you may feel like you want to escape okay eighth house can be the house of escapism along with the 12th house so <clears throat> if you feel that you need to withdraw for some time you need to go on the back foot then that's perfectly fine okay nothing wrong with it <clears throat> but you need to understand that at the end you have to come back okay so take a good vacation relax rejuvenate and then come back you know it's like as they say bounce back okay so you need to bounce back basically you need to fight back okay sixth house shows your ability to fight back and because your sixth lord is transiting the eighth so you need to make improvements in your health and there could be some issues which are lurking in the background which means you know some uh, challenges which you have encountered previously you know so maybe it could happen for you libra lagna that there is something which you have been doing uh, which you were doing but you gave up at a certain point for some reason but now is the time that you uh, finally uh, start it again and complete it okay so finish old tasks and uh, focus more on partnerships withdraw if required come and bounce back uh, focus on your health eat good be good do good and let others uh, do what they think is best okay so don't try to control things and i'm sure you will do good libra okay all the best now we go to scorpio scorpio lagna do you like the photo that's posted if yes hit the thumbs up and comment your thoughts below the scorpion is devouring <laughs> is the scorpion devouring the uh, the sun or the sun is devouring the scorpion who's devouring whom what do you think <laughs> and for personalized consultations you can see my website mentioned here now for you scorpio this transit is happening in your sixth house what is the sixth house it's the house of devouring <laughs> now why do i say it's the house of devouring something or somebody or maybe somebody is devouring you okay so sixth house shows your uh, daily habits your health your work life okay anything which you do in a routine repetitive uh, way that is the sixth house okay so for you there could be a good job opportunity which could come and uh, because this transit is also going in your seventh house eventually so there could be a situation where you are doing a lot of uh, you are doing a lot of things in your profession you are trying out different things uh, but with partnerships okay so for you jupiter is the second lord of wealth values family uh, and you know uh, net worth and network also to some extent and 
Jupiter also is the fifth lord, which is the lord of creativity, love, romance, you know, and <clears throat> children, basically. Okay, so um, for you, Scorpio, the second lord transiting the sixth, so you will want to earn money. Okay, so after seventeenth April, you will kind of start to see that your desire to earn money will increase multifold. Okay. Uh, and also you will see you will uh, be successful in competitive exams and you know uh, you could be having improvements in your health okay but uh, you need to understand that sixth house is a dustana house and nothing will come easy so if you think that you want to do something big in life but you feel oh it will just happen without much hard work then i'm sorry you are seriously mistaken okay <coughs> Uh, at least now this will not happen so you have to work hard you have to go all all in and all out okay but there are good things also which means uh, there could be you know uh, strengthening of financial uh, stability you know you might get more money in your job you might get a new job there could be more accumulation of wealth or you know there could be joyful events related to children or something related to creativity okay so for scorpio now it's very important that you try two things in your life you know one is the fifth house side which is your creativity love romance which is you know your inner life okay your inner your inner being basically okay and one thing is the sixth house and the second house which is your wealth and your uh, network your net worth so try to try to uh, try to balance two things okay so for you you may feel that sometimes you are earning too much money and you are not focusing on your family your spouse uh, but sometimes you may feel you are not focusing on your work you are focusing too much on your uh, personal life okay <clears throat> so nothing wrong in uh, focusing on either one of them sometimes but eventually you have to learn to balance okay and because the fifth house is run fifth lord transits the seventh so it's a great time for favorable relationships and also to enter into a new relationship or the best time to get married okay so either with a new person or if you're already having a relationship then best time to get married uh, but be careful there's the sixth house which is involved so there could be some uh rough patches in between okay but in general it's a good time because the sixth house transit will be there only till uh first of may and then the seventh house will take over and at the end uh, it's a great time to invest in you know arts entertainment or any kind of speculative business like you know fifth lord transiting the sixth so money could come in from you know stock market or or similar areas you know so very good time for you to uh, engage in arts entertainment also along with your family so for you there are three pillars one is your family and your love life and the other one is you know your arts and creativity side and the other one is you know your business okay so try to make a balance between all the three all the best scorpio good luck now we go to sagittarius thanu lagna i think this is the most fiery pick among all the ascendants all right so if you like this photo don't forget to hit the thumbs up in the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new and for consultations you can see my website mentioned here all right what's going on sagittarius sagittarius for you do i need to say much i mean jupiter is the lord of your ascendant he literally rules sagittarius okay he is the lord of your first house your lagna your rising sign he is the 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 most important planet for you sagittarius there is no planet which is more important for you no other transit that is more important for you than the transit of jupiter sagittarius and pisces okay so uh, guru is the planet which lords your first house which shows you know yourself your personality uh, along with that he also lords your fourth house which shows your home your car your uh, family you know your mother especially okay and then now he's transiting the fifth house which is the house of creativity uh, it's the house of romance it's the house of having fun it's the house of you know your hobbies and it's the house of uh, children and your purpose in life 
and along with that he's transiting the sixth house which is the house of health and daily work okay so sixth house shows things which you do repetitively even if you don't like okay so what does this mean it means initially the fifth house will be active till first of may and then the sixth house will take over okay which means initially you might be doing something for fun so for example uh, you may feel oh i like to talk you know so maybe i can make youtube videos okay so with a lot of eagerness enthusiasm and passion and uh, with a vision you may start off but then what happens the 16 sixth house uh, creeps in okay so then now you are really challenged to ask yourself okay so do you really want to do this always or you just want to do it sometimes okay so therefore now your situation will be like you will start something out of inspiration but you have to ask yourself this question can you do this for the rest of your life or for a prolonged period of time can you be consistent that is what the sixth house will ask you the sixth house always asks for payment okay very 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 important the sixth house is <clears throat> then you need to see that uh, there can be creative endeavors and hobby hobbies that could be highly favored so now you may want to convert your passion into profession okay very 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 important period for you so if you have any hobbies and you would like to you know convert them into some side hustle or profession then well congratulations this is the best time for you to do it and then there could also be positive developments in your love life romantic life and in relationships with your children okay so if you are married and you want to have kids then you can have uh, kids now okay if your dasha's permit mahadasha and antar dasha for you and your spouse both and because from the fifth house uh, jupiter will aspect uh, the ninth house the ascendant and also the eleventh house and from the sixth jupiter will aspect the twelfth house you know so overall it's a good time for a uh, self awareness and try to enhance your self image okay and also try to learn more things you know fourth lord is the lord of learning fourth lord transiting fifth and sixth so you might try to learn some new technology every day okay incredible time to learn about new skills okay and uh, purchasing of property is also on cards if you are running mars or saturn mahadasha antardasha and if they are favorably placed in your horoscope for property purchase okay so along with this you have to have improved health through attention to diet and exercise so lagna lord transiting the sixth no compromise with exercise with gym with yoga with good food okay so this is the best time for you to indulge in creativity learn more and take care of your life and cultivate discipline okay so sagittarius these are the words for you hobbies discipline strengthen your love life strengthen connection with children and enhance your self image and personal growth i am sure you will do very good okay all the best sagittarius take care all right we go to capricorn if you like the photo then hit the thumbs up and for consultations the website is down below and if you're new please subscribe to the channel so for capricorn what's going on jupiter is a very um, interesting planet for you he is the lord of the 12th house which shows spirituality expenditure and he's also the lord of the third house uh, which shows you know your communication skills uh, short travels and where is he transiting so initially till first of may he will transit your fourth house what is the fourth house fourth house is the house of your home your <coughs> Uh, family and then he's going to transit from first of may into your fifth house okay fifth house is the house of creativity love romance children your hobbies your passions okay so this transit will be very impactful for you initially and more importantly after first of may okay so for you this transit is very 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 important because this is happening in the most important house gradually which is the most important house is the fifth house fifth house tells you why you are existing in this world why do you get up in the morning okay 
so this can give you peaceful and harmonious relationships 12th lord transiting the fifth it's a good time to have a love relationship or also a deepen an existing relationship that you have with somebody this can also show that you are depending your uh, existing you know family relationships you know so that co it could be possible that uh, there is some good uh, time in your family you know maybe there's some family event coming up this year or maybe during this period okay <coughs> and then uh, there could be a possibility that you are renovating your home or you know buying a new home it's very much possible the 12th lord of expenses is coming to the fourth house very 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 possible uh, highly possible that you are buying a new home or could be a new car also okay so for that we need to check your dashas if it is mars saturn dasha then it could be property or if it is venus it could be vehicles okay now uh, at the end you need to understand that your focus should be on doing something that you like okay so you need to see what are some projects that uh, creatively bring out satisfaction and also possibly recognition in you okay because the fifth house is also the house of recognition because it's the house of the sun okay the sun is the planet that gives all recognition and at the end it's a great 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 time for learning and spiritual growth fourth house is the house of learning and 12th house is the house of research so 12th lot coming to the fourth perfect time for research and 12th lot coming to the fifth and also the third lord which is uh, the third lord shows you know <clears throat> uh, short travels and uh, because this is in the fourth or fifth so you could go to some conference if required you know for learning some new skill okay so therefore uh, if you have a plan to upgrade yourself financially intellectually or uh, through spirituality through meditation or through any other means then this is phenomenally the most important time for you because you can upgrade yourself so the third and the fourth houses when they combine they also show some certifications okay so if you uh, want to get some new certification then this is the perfect time if you want to get together with somebody for new learning for starting something new now uh, it is a great time but remember for you the most important thing is the fifth house here because uh, the fifth house will uh, be impacted for the majority period after first of may okay so <clears throat> focus on learning something initially from the fourth house and then take it to the fifth house so try to make a vision out of it you know just don't do things because somebody is telling you or everybody is doing so now capricorn for you the most important thing is to find out your individuality and to try to find who you are as a person and what do you want in life okay the more you do this the more you will realize that your life is improving daily okay so also do short travels if required and possibility is that it could be related to you know some creative work or some spiritual work all right wish you all the best capricorn now aquarius lagna this is the most uh, fiery pick i think among all i think similar to leo so if you like this photo then hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and for personalized consultations please visit my website down here in the description section now where is this transit happening this transit is happening in your third house initially and then it is going to your fourth house okay so what is the third house the third house is the house of communication short travels you know, and fourth house is the house of your home and your family okay so these are two most important houses which will be impacted so till first of may your third house is impacted and then first may to 13 june you, uh, your second uh, uh, your fourth house is impacted in the second part okay <clears throat> so that means uh, there could be a requirement where you need to strengthen your communication skills okay so it could be a uh, time for great time for you to uh, take up some course for communication or work for some interview preparations okay now why do i say interview preparations because 
don't forget jupiter is a very important planet for you he's lording all the money in your chart okay he's the lord of second house of wealth values value systems net worth and he's also the lord of 11th house 11th house is the most powerful house in the zodiac belt okay the 11th house is the house which is the house of phenomenal gains um, name fame power position authority achievements and success overall overall success round uh, 24 by 7 success okay so now if the 11th lord is transiting your third you will be successful in any interview so if you have any visa interview or to come to some other country or you want to crack your dream job you know then phenomenal time it is okay and also for short distance travels you could have an incredible time okay so that's initially so you could have uh, both personal and professional uh, travel related uh, scenarios playing out in your life okay and also because the 11th lord is transiting your third the third house can show you know uh, your siblings or neighbors you know or people that you meet in general so it could be a great time for you to uh, socialize with people in general and also understand that uh, this is a great time to develop uh, your relationship with your acquaintances and also convert them to your friends and with your friends to convert them to your best friends okay <clears throat> and most importantly your second lord uh, your 11th lord transits the third house so money could come in through social media okay so there will be increase in your wealth and material resources there could be favorable time uh, there could be favorable time periods for you to engage in community activities or short trips okay the 11th house and third house will always show some community or social service always all the time okay so therefore uh, this could also be a great time to make some significant purchases for investments uh, and including vehicles okay so this is a phenomenal time basically for you to expand yourself so for you uh, you need to understand that you have to now start contributing okay why because third house is the house of contribution the third house tells what you give to others okay so now you might be very happy to see all the things that are written in the slide but you have to understand that all these will only materialize if you learn how to give okay and the fourth house of course is the house of knowledge so you need to uh, learn to give and you need to learn to develop substance within yourself okay so if you have things which you do or if you speak things without understanding or without you yourself believing or following them then uh, please try to do it yourself and then preach okay so overall Aquarius a phenomenal time like 11th Lord transiting third great gains from social media good communication skills good for interview good for siblings neighbors and increasing your wealth with the second house and also maybe you might require to focus a bit on your mother okay and your family take care Aquarius now last but not the least always Pisces ascendant pisces lagna pisces rising sign what's going on if you like this photo then hit the thumbs up and for consultations please go to my website down in the description section and if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe so pisces lagna what is going on do i need to speak anything for you pisces and sagittarius as i already spoke for sagittarius jupiter is the most important planet for you okay and uh, jupiter is your lagna lord he is the lord of your first house but for you he's even more important because he's not just your first lord he is the lord of your 10th house also okay <clears throat> so he rules all the name fame and personality in your chart so if you see where is jupiter transiting so till first of may jupiter will transit your second house and then he will enter your third house so what is the second house the second house the house of you know your wealth your values and third house is the house of communication short travels and you know all this so uh, now 
10th house and first house shows individuality okay and making a presence for yourself in this world so the second house and the 10th house both are uh, artha houses which means they are houses which contribute to your financial gains okay so needless to say you might have financial growth and stability uh, depending on what is indicated in your dashas okay now there could be positive developments in your career that could lead to increased reputation and success why do i say this because the lagna lord is transiting the second house and the 10th lord also transits the second but your name fame could come through some big promotion more responsibility or you might also go viral in social media because for most of the period of time from 1st of may to 13 june this transit is actually in your third house <clears throat> so for you it is extremely important and it will be beneficial to establish clear, clear communication in you know personal and professional areas <clears throat> and also it's a great time for self-improvement and personal branding efforts okay so lagna lord transiting third house see third house is the house of marketing you market something or somebody to someone okay now when your lagnesh is in third it means you are marketing yourself you are making a personal brand okay very 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 important and there could be great opportunities for short business trips or education related travels okay <coughs> So 10th lot transiting the third house, phenomenal time for cracking the next big interview. Okay, it could be a phenomenal time to uh, get the dream job. Okay, so uh, uh, if you have an aspiration to get into some big company, well, then uh, don't waste a moment. Go and apply for that job and I'm sure you will gain phenomenally. Okay, and if you already have a job which is paying you well, then try to get some new certification okay some uh, certification which is very important for you you know third house can show ai and new things okay so just don't be satisfied with the uh, position that you have now try to go to the next level try to <coughs> do more networking and try to uh, indulge more into knowledge and education okay so by that you will gain phenomenally so learn new technologies third house shows new technologies and you know 10th lord in third you need to learn technologies for your profession and lagna lord in third can show that you also need to learn technology not just for your profession but just for yourself you know maybe uh, some app which tracks your health or blood sugars you know your number of steps that you count uh, you walk every day you know something related to that so technology is very important and because the uh, 10th lord is transiting the second so there could be some involvement of family and in your wealth also okay there could be inheritance or lagnesh in second there could be marriage also okay so it depends on your dashas uh, only then we can pinpoint exactly and tell you what is there that is destined for you but uh, in general it's a great time for financial growth and stability uh, to bring better success to your career and make use of technology do self-improvement brand yourself and become more successful okay all the best Pisces wish you all the best thank you very much everyone